Hi all, everything in my videos is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourself, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So for those of you who are unaware, Megan has applied to the high court and has requested a delay in her upcoming privacy trial against the Mail on Sunday, which was supposed to start in January of next year. Her reasoning is that since the Mail is now allowed to use the book Finding Freedom, that her attorneys have a lot more work to do in relation to the case. She's also going to request that the court makes a summary judgment. Now, for those who don't know what a summary judgment is, it is essentially a judgment entered by the court for one party against another party without the trial. So a judgment can be made on the merits of the entire case or on discrete issues in the case. Therefore, she would not have to testify, her friends wouldn't have to testify, and she would win the case if the judge went in her favor. Now, for those who don't remember, this was all about a letter that Megan sent to her father, which was supposed to be a reconciliatory letter. And what actually ended up happening is Megan's father put this letter away and never revealed it to anybody. He told nobody about it, and I don't think it left his briefcase, the report said, for several months. As Omen Scooby himself said in the following video, she wrote that letter knowing that it would be released. So she wrote it knowing that the public was going to consume this letter and she wanted it to look good. This letter was very much to repair the relationship with her father. She knew in the heart of hearts that this was going to be released to the papers. Thomas has a record of this. This is exactly the man that she knows. And so many of those things in that letter were written with the public in mind. She very much wanted to set the record straight. The Duchess. But in actuality, her father never released that letter, and the next thing you know, five friends of Megan, without telling Megan and going behind her back, went to People Magazine on their own and talked about the letter. I believe this was done in an effort to force her father's hand and get that letter released, which is what she wanted. It's already been reported that the two of them do not want to fly back to the UK over Christmas because they want to stay in their LA mansion or wherever the hell that house is. They're saying that they don't want to go into quarantine for two weeks. It's rumored that Megan actually asked if they fly over, can the two-week quarantine be waived for her, which just shows her amount of self-centeredness. They're also complaining about the COVID virus, which... I might point out, didn't stop them from flying to the UK last March and didn't stop them from flying into the middle of the pandemic in LA. And we all know if they fly back to the UK, they'll be on a private jet. So it's not like they're going to be exposed to anything. I firmly believe, and again, this is just my opinion, that if the two of them fly back to Frogmore, they will leave Archie in LA with Doria. I don't believe for one second that Megan will allow that child back on UK soil. Because after all, if they did that, and Harry should decide he wants to stay in the UK, he could keep Archie there, and she's not going to give up the upper hand. So what do you guys think about this latest development? Do you think the judge is going to give a summary judgment or do you think it's going to go all the way? Personally, I think it's going to go all the way. And do I think they're going to get an extension on their case? No, I don't. I think the judge has had enough and I think it's going to move forward. Time will tell. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day.